All right, we got a strength of five. Let's go. We've got two new recruits here, so we will want to be careful, but yeah, you, know, you fight with the army you have, not the army you want. They hike the tree-covered hill above Otter Arches, making their final approach. Woodland here used to be bigger, or smaller, kind of set apart. Why do I not remember yesterday? I'm going dull out here, I swear. I feel like I need this battle. The great heat's a grind to sharpen me. Should I say something? Elm's leading the way, and it's he who spots the warm glow ahead. Did it flicker to life just now? Or maybe it had only been hiding behind the trunks. Yeah, this place is pretty removed. Wonder what drew them here. The beast things. You've been around. Figured you might have a clue. Better question, maybe, what makes us think that it was smart to chase them here? See a fire up ahead. Campfire, maybe. Campfire? Could be a random traveler. May not be hostile, but I'll stay ready. Or, no. This isn't a... Isn't a... A gout of flame swirls amid the saber rocks. Silence, bright and smokeless. It's not a place to hang your kettle. Bizarre, don't you think? I wonder why it's not hot. Not hot? It's blistering! I feel it, Elm. You okay? Do you hear... stories? Or is that just my mind that hears them? Elm moves nearer to the spiraling inferno, apparently unscorched. Elm! I'm alright, I'm remembering now. I remember one tall story. It's brief. It's for children. In early days, the sky's back was not so stiff. She bent and saw a handsome gray squirrel who'd climbed to the top of a redwood tree. Elma! You're getting really close. This squirrel, he chased, he chatted to her blithely how he re relished her stars and the autumn wind took comfort when she cast her cloudy hair. He thanked her for letting the sun thread through it, youthful and uncautious. And unused to such adoring words, she became drunk on them. So when she watched him plant his forests, and watched the trees grow tall where he placed them, the sky thought to impress him by planting her own. A lightning arm she gently lowered, and a great tree of scarlet was born. But it was a greedy tree. It grew and grew and grew so large it consumed the forest the squirrel had planted. And without time for a word, Words took much longer to say in those days. It swallowed the squirrel's body, too. Seeing this, the sky grieved and grew in wisdom. Upon the wildfire, she poured celestial waters, the first rain, and ever after, when she lowers her lightning, even in wrath, she bolsters the earth in rain, lest her anger run beyond its intended course. Ah, hmm. That's the story I remember, and this place remembers. It's a piece of here something left behind. What's that mean? Stories of fire. You don't hear them? They leap and lick at my imagination. At this altar, once, people would gather and tell them. But they're dead now. Those people are dead. The flame somehow endures. Son, please, come away. You should be burning. How are you not? Listen, I'm going to let it touch me. You're in trance, aren't you, Elm? You're not thinking straight. Or uh, I'm made to carry this fire. It's heat and memories in myself. Well, I mean... He does have... Hold on. He does have as one of his, uh... Not aspects, his, uh... Abilities. Ember arrows. I think he goes for it. Wait, don't just- Elm, no! He leans close and lets the fire climb his wrist. It's alright. I'll be alright. He stands unharmed as flames fly- File up his arm, orderly as ants. But then- Ugh! A sudden mass of fire rests- Breathes Elm's body. Elm! Ugh! Just as it seems the whirling flames will devour him. <sighs> 
They retreat into their coals. Elm stumbles back a few steps. <sighs> what in the... Or, no. What in the... Elm! Here, my canteen's still full, let me... No, no. Keep your water. It's not painful. A little warm, like wearing an arm sock. But oddly enough, I feel better than before. I feel ready for whatever's next. A big bestial caterwauling starts up not far through the trunks. And there first. Talking and fixing it. Has to wait. Got a legacy point. Ah, dismay. Um, so Elm has... He can do a cone of fire. Huh, interesting. Uh, who are we up against? I, I missed. I didn't pay attention to that. Uh, I said, I guess we'll send Meryl up first. Okay, how far away can we get a hit in from? Here? Okay. Let's go there. So it's a single action ends the turn. I mean, yeah, nice little shot. Can't hurt. Meryl, uh, well, let's see. Here, yeah. All this you can be right over here. Interfuse with... I guess stone. Not much else, really. And we can discus. Uh, I guess we have to discus the Gorgon. Okay. Meryl, come up front. Give us some defense. Jowen. See what you can do about this situation. Maybe we should have actually had her go closer so she could throw shots. Yeah, let's change that. It's like if we... Oh, we can't. That's as close as she gets. Okay, never mind. That Gorgon is not long for this world, though. Let me tell you. Okay, a dodge. Perfect, perfect. Okay, this this crew seems this motley crew here seems to be doing pretty well thus far. There is a Bartot though. Um, forget what they do. What does an ex so we've got an explosive rail, which seems problematic. Ah, ooh, this could be fun. All right, Elm, come on over. Cone of fire through all of these guys. Actually, that doesn't seem to actually do that much. I think it'd probably be better to just, like, shoot someone. Yeah, it's fun, at least. Let's try it. You know what? That was worth it. Alright, that row's going to die because it's standing in fire. We can discus... Uh, so I guess we might have Meryl strike that row, or the Bogmore. Uh, or oh, th through shot, so yours only goes through like two enemies, yeah. So maybe kill row. You kill Bogmore, maybe? Close to it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so Jowen, back up a bit. Through shot this row. There we go. Uh, we will bring uh, Meryl up. Kill the Bogmore. Or... I was hoping for a stunt, but oh well. Uh, we can get a bonus interfusion with, uh, say, maybe this sapling. That could be useful going forward. And then we can discus the Bogmore. Oh. Well, Rose's dead anyway. Okay. And the fire is spreading. Perfect. Point, oh, it's forming a nice little wall between our group and the uh, the Bogmore. Ah, and Elm can get some uh, Ember arrows from here. Mm, they don't really do that much damage, but you know. Alright. That guy's uh, armor is really quite problematic. If we could get, like. Eh. Wild Grasp actually might be good. 
And I'll actually put him on the fire there. I think, maybe? Yeah, let's see what happens. Although, do we, do we really need to do that? Maybe we just, you know, keep shooting at him. Okay, I guess we'll start with a through shots. Nice stunts. Very good. Okay, you can then... I guess let's just kill this... Well, we might actually... What are we interfused with right now? If we could interfuse with, say, another... Oh, a splinter bass. That's exactly what we need. Perfect. There we go. Oh. He blocked it. Uh, yeah, just guardian this area for now. And you can shoot the Bartoth. Oh, and burn him. Alright, I think now is Wild Grasp time. Okay, apparently not. Just keep on shooting. Very nice stunts. There we go. Well done, crew. Well done. The Wild Fell. Great axe. Um... I actually think we give this to Havish. Because his whole, like, thing is, uh... He does extra damage if he's got objects interfused. The dust settles. The air smells acid and burnt. You can control that thing, I hope. Hmm, disarm? Yeah, I... Can you talk for a second, Elm? I mean, you do appear to be on fire. Which, uh... How do you feel about that? Alright, so... I really did hear something, right? Whatever presence was there in the altar, the flames had spoken me more than to me. Like the chorus of my primal ancestry. I heard them offer stories to the altar. Vaughn of the Summer, the Queen of Embers, the Sun Thief, and the Empire of Ashes were softer stories like that little yarn about the sky and the Tree of Fire. I heard them, these flame keepers, people who drove their herds and built their shelters here, who poured out their mysteries by this altar. They must have been carved and... Anyway, the point is, you're always going to be to elect to have a firearm if you can. If you at all can. Well, who am I to tell you otherwise? What'd be the point also? At least you can probably start a campfire pretty quick, huh? That'll be nice, maybe. You're worried for me, aren't you, Mom? I'm sorry. I'll be okay. I'll be better. I'll be who I was meant to be. You're not going to tell me off, are you? Hmm. You gotta do that... Do your own thing, I get that. Alright, Bogmores have more health. Luckily they don't have more armor, if that happens I'll be very sad. Um, so there's going to be an incursion. I guess we'll, we'll just start sending these guys over here to just like start preparing defenses. I don't know where the incursion will come from. Wilnick has returned to action, great. Uh, Wilnick, come help with the research. But we're probably going to want to fight the incursion. Uh, no, we don't want extra raccoons, and we don't want staggerons. That doesn't sound right. Okay. Incursion. Where are they? Okay, they're going to Miller Track. So after these guys are done here, I guess we send everyone over to Miller Track. Alright, great. Got some hard boots. Link mail! Uh... Yeah, there is an argument to give Meryl Link Mail instead of a Brawl Guard. Give her more armor, and she does tend to be, like, up at the front, so. We'll do that. Some extra warding. Uh, let's give it to... Maybe to Nalith? And we'll get everyone over here who's capable to prepare defenses. We'll also just gather everyone here for defense. Uh, 
Hope we can get to at least tier two. Ooh, maybe, dare I say, tier three? Nah, that's not gonna happen. Nah, okay. Uh, we won't attack just yet. Okay. How strong are these guys? Strength of 12. Up. Oh, uh, we're waiting for Wilnek. Wilnek. Get over to Miller Track. Okay, everyone's at full health except for Clayon. I guess we'll just need to be careful with him. Alright, here we go. Defend Miller Track, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we gotta do it. I mean, we don't have to do it, but, like, we're gonna do it. Alright, y'all. Everyone's together. Heroes unite. Let's do this. The Draven have come. A booming throat hangs its battle call on the air. And then more voices join, sharper, closer, in shriller octaves. How should the defenders respond? It'll be story. You'll grin about it someday. Uh, I guess we charge into battle. Take the fight to them. Let's go, Jowen. The great cry they share, the strength of standing side by side, fills them with defiant courage. They charge. Oh, if that's not great thumbnail material, I don't know what is. Alright, more speed, more potency, and stuff, but only for a few turns. Okay. Only six of them. Okay, we've been here before. Last time we were here, we really tried to focus them at one door. I think since we've got the, like, whole, like, aggression thing, maybe we try to really take the fight to them. Say, for example, like this, we get a, a cart interfused. We do a little bit of a splinter blast. They block it, that, that's fine, that's fine. We can, we can deal with blocks. We shoot you. And then Meryl can't quite make it there, but you, you can defend it. Well, you can defend. I think we might actually want Wilnick uh, over defending the... Well, it doesn't really matter who defends what door, does it? Well, let's volley of arrows these guys. Okay. Not, not bad. Now we strike. Great. Great, great, great. Alright. The other door will definitely want to have some defenses on, so Meryl, come on over. And let us see what Hulvish can uncover. Anything? Not that I see yet. Huh, pretty quiet over here. Okay, crew. I actually think we send this random village over here to complete this wall. And where do we send Jowen? Oh, you're, you're fine, you can wait. Jowen. She could be helpful on, on either side, honestly. But it depends on where the enemies come from. For the time being, let's send her over... We'll send her over here with the newer recruits. Oh, these guys open doors. Uh oh. Okay, we, we'll manage. We'll manage. Um. Okay. Well. Well. Okay, first things first, we can probably take Nailith over here and take out this archer. Great, that frees up Wilnick. Perfect. Um, splinter Blasts, Splinter Blasts, Splinter Blasts. Uh, that's a two wide door. Uh, so we can bring Meryl. Over, potentially. Um, hmm. Right, I think Elm 
Let's just bring you as far over here as we can. And fire these guys? It's just the one guy. Maybe just we shoot him. Yeah, I think this might be just a shoot him sort of situation. Drats. Okay. Backup plan. Um. Alright, Tolvish. What? Oh, we can't do... Drats! All this stuff is back there. And I guess we can withdraw from the this tree and interfuse instead with can't even get anything outside. That's sad. Okay, so there's nothing Jowen can do to attack these guys down south. So I think what we probably do just get her up here. Through shot these guys? With a stunt, that's perfect. Meryl, come defend us, please. Random villager, um... Join the wall. Right over here. And I don't think even if Clay and Interfuse was the bed, he can, like, reach them. Uh, I guess he could, like... Maybe this is a roots and shoots situation? Okay, so now we've got plants in here. Uh, we can bring Wilnick over to wall with him. Or, and Guardian. And Villager go wall with Nalith. And Clayon. Um. Well, we can interfuse with these newly formed plants. Hobbled. Oh, yeah. Hey! Those are my plants. These little archer dudes are annoying. I think we got some out more. Um, vine wrench? Uh, I mean, this might be just a splinter blast sort of territory, honestly. Okay, now I believe Wilnick should hopefully be pretty capable of taking this guy on one on one in single combat. He should have been. Um. Yeah, can we kind of fire this guy? Okay, can we shoot this guy? We can. Not gonna be fatal. Uh, what about you? Can you, uh. What if you shoot this guy? I can't reach. Oh, Nailith, yeah, I forgot you were here. Alright, come on back in, Nailith. Let's uh, shoot this guy. Great job, Nailith, great job. Vill Random villager, um, well, come on back, I guess. Jowen, give me a through shot. And Sun, finish the job. <sighs> it grates, honestly. Um, uh, Splinter. I dealt with a waste of volley of arrows on this, so. Meryl, come on out. Kill him. And Todvish, go wall with her just so she's, you know, safe. Random villager, complete this wall, please. Random villager just waits. Okay, bit of damage. Nothing terrible just yet. Okay, sheesh. Just keep on coming. Although, granted, I think that was the last one, so... They've stopped coming now. Yeah, let's vine wrench this guy. Oh, he's dead. I'd say that's a pretty effective vine wrenching then. Shoots the darts. <sighs> Why is it never that simple? Random villager, kill the darts. Alright, Wilnick. Stand guard at the door. Okay, now where are the rest? I think this might just be kind of a huddle down, hunker down and uh, wait sort of situation. But first, you're, you're definitely interfusing with these mossy rocks. Okay, they're not that way. Alright, come on back.
Okay, darts. Oh, man, Clan's actually taking a fair bit of damage. Deep's getting harassed. Ooh. Man, I did not expect them all to come from the direction that our injured guy was in. <laughs> Pretty intelligent of them, though. I guess. Okay, so clearly they're- I think they're basically all coming from the left. Um, alright, Clan is gonna have to shoo this bird away. After he just- Come on in and hide, Clan. You've been doing fine. Just get the bird out of here. Um, uh, Wilnick can probably take this one guy- this stump guy down single-handedly. So, he'll do that. And strike. Great job. Okay. That would be a pretty darn effective volley of arrows. Potentially. Okay, I guess that was went fairly well. We could jump jaw. There we go, Nail's putting up a great defense. Jowan. Come, uh, stand in front of Nailith. And, uh... Elm? I mean, is there a reason not to just Cone of Fire? Well, th other than the fact that it didn't achieve anything, I, I guess. Okay, can we... I don't know what to do with this guy. Meryl! My defender, come on up. Paladin is so good. So good. Now, hopefully no one doesn't... No one, like, sneaks around the back and gets clay in that way. Yeah, stupid birds. Okay. <laughs> that was a mistake. Very nice. Okay. Uh, is there an angle we could get through shots to work from? I don't think so, unfortunately. I'm not sure, like, what, what exactly the bird does. Oh, I bet this will be great for a cone of fire, though. All right, Elm. Show them what you got. Okay, that was actually quite underwhelming this time. Okay, um... I guess I'll go for the guy that's more likely to die. I guess we can do the same sort of deal with Nailith. Alright, Meryl. See, so from here, you could attack. Uh, I'm not sure what the... What does the bird do? Minus one speed takes one shred or damage at the start of turn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We, we can deal with that. It's just harassing her slightly. It's fine. Ooh. Yes, interfuse the trough. Scalding rain, let's go. And Clay and I guess I actually probably could get involved here. Because he is a mage and all. Interviews with the fire. I knew that fire would come in handy. Fire leash. Is that all of them? Well done, guys. Well done. Great defense. And we got a level up for Nailith. Uh, we could give her another jump jaw, although normally only use the one. Windwalk. Once per combat, a swift action. Oh, that's interesting. Of these, honestly, I think we do go for Windwalk. I mean, I mean, through shot is pretty good, but we already have someone with it, so I, just for... That, that might be a bit boring if all of our 
archers end up with through shots. Even though I do think it's a pretty good ability. Okay, well then. Um, so I guess so much for the northern exploration stuff, because, like, we're all here now. Um, I guess we'll split up the party. We'll send, uh... And the divisions from last time went okay? I really like Meryl. I wish I could have her in both parties. Um, let's get Jowen. Jowen and Clayen should probably be together. And with them, we need... We'll get Wilnick. If we bring Wilnick with them... Well, you know what, actually, this... The original trio, I think they'll, they'll do fine, hopefully. Over to Lambert Timber. Uh, we'll send Meryl and the other guys. Well, shoot. If it weren't for this hardwood lamp tree, it would have been a complete waste of time. Ugh, I forgot how much work actually taking a tree down is. You think our line of work, it wouldn't be the most exerting thing we do in a day? Nah, my arms are all wobbly too. I think it's different muscles from the fighting ones. Well, I could probably tell you the details. So how about, uh, so how about it? Are you in the market for a new spear? This stuff looks particularly unyielding. Since when are you an expert? I don't need to be an expert. Look at that grain. It's gorgeous. Is it just me, or do the trees seem to be rather close in here? It was not just her. Um. Hmm. I think... With Meryl in the group, this is a stand-and-fight sort of situation. 